This May 11th, you can help Stamp Out Hunger by donating non-perishable food items. Now, nationwide, Stamp Out Hunger is in its 21st year. It's become our nation's largest single-day food drive. We're going to give you all the information this morning on how you can get involved here in the Keys and help make a difference. Bob, thank you for being here with me today. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Bob, you are the coordinator of this here in Monroe County. This is something that you started 20 years ago. Why did you feel that we needed to do it down here in the Florida Keys? Well, the, it is nationally, and at the time I got hired at the post office, uh, they did not do it. So when I heard about it, uh, there is a need in this county, in this country, so uh, uh, with my fellow letter carriers, we decided to pick it up, and uh, now it's our 20th year. That's awesome. And this is something that goes all the way from Key West to Key Largo. Yes, this is like from uh, every key, uh, from Key Largo to Key West, mm -hmm. and we each, each key keeps their own in their own key. Key Largo keeps theirs, Summerlin, Big Pine, Island Marauder, Tavernier, they all Key West. We all, they all keep their own for their local churches. Okay, and who's all involved in the Stamp Out Hunger here in Monroe County? Well, uh, the rural letter carriers, we got to thank a lot. They're now, they jumped on board, which is uh, the carriers, Summon Marathon, Tavernier, Allen, Marana, Key Largo. And so they picked it up. And so with the uh, rural letter carriers and city carriers, um, we, we've got a big team now, so it, it's working out great. Well, this has become such a big event here. I, I know we were talking earlier, and you said that when you first started this, there was barely any food, just a couple items, and now you have grown tremendously over the years. Well, it has picked up. The first mm -hmm. year you could put in a shopping cart almost for the whole city of Key West, and now last year we got 18 tons. So mm -hmm. it is a very good, it's picked up great. Now, what do people need to do, Bob? Do, can they only put food items out on Saturday, or can they start putting out well, food they, items now? They can put it out early if they're going to go away. We mm -hmm. were kind of asking for all last year's hurricane items, mm -hmm. so to speak. But you can put them out any day this week, uh, Friday, Saturday. Put them on your mailbox, in your mailbox, around the mailbox. We just don't like eggs and bread. We, we Non-perishable food items. So. Okay. Anything near the mailbox, and you can bring them to your businesses if you want, and okay. we'll pick them up there. So there's no work involved in this. You guys have to do all the work. All we have to do is put the yep. items outside. Give us your <laughs> last year's hurricane items or mm -hmm. go to the store and get some new stuff, and uh, we'll do all the work, and it's a heavy day for the letter carriers and the rural letter carriers. We'll be working hard that day. I can imagine. And then, as you mentioned, everything stays local, Bob, so... The big thing is everybody, some people think that goes to other disasters and not one can in all the 20 years has ever left the county, Monroe mm -hmm. County. Um, there's enough need in this county, believe it or not. It, it goes to single family homes or um, people who barely can make, it, uh, make rent. And so the churches, not us, the churches mm -hmm. distribute it and they give it to, to everybody, mm -hmm. all walks of life. So Wonderful. Well, hopefully. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is a good thing to be doing down here, and hopefully everybody can get involved this May 11th on Saturday. Start giving your food items right now. Bob, thank you for being on this morning. Well, we'd like everybody to uh, go out there and put as much out as they can, mm -hmm. and um, it, it all stays locally again, and um, the churches really appreciate it, and the people do too. I hear it all year long how grateful they are. Wonderful. So it's a good thing. All right. Well, thank you again for being on this morning. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in with me today. I hope that you'll be able to join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay. It'll be...